Okay, so in typical time-wasting fashion, I was bored and was scrolling through Reddit because what better things are there to do at 1am than that, and I came across an interesting post on the Genshin subreddit from Firework Tornado. I'm assuming they're a Yoimiya main. It came up with ways to theoretically make mono elemental teams more satisfying to play, by presenting elemental resonance additions for teams with more than two units of the same element. Having made videos in the past about potential red flags I see in the game's design, this really got me thinking, as it could present a possible way for characters who don't make use of elemental reactions well to not have to do so. I'll leave a link to the post in the description if you want to see it for yourself. Full disclosure, the ideas they had were a bit… how should I say… overpowered. The ideas are cool, it's just a lot of the criticism they got was in the realm of balance. Anyway, this is good timing for me. While I try not to be one of those knee-jerk sensationalist YouTubers who spouts extreme rhetoric about X character being trash, I'd be lying if I said my videos weren't negative. Why no one plays is inherently a negative topic, same goes for Spiral Abyss issues, elemental reactions, catalysts. With that in mind, I wanted to try something else for a change by making a video talking about fun stuff, so let's talk about what we could do with elemental resonance in Genshin Impact. Would the game improve if we had three of the same element or a full house? I also want to theorycraft some of my own ideas for elemental resonance, so let's begin. Everyone is at the very least aware of it, but we don't put too much thought into it because most of the time we just go with double pyro to get the bonus attack. For those who don't know, when you compose a team, over on the top right you'll notice a tab that says Elemental Resonance. It's a system that grants bonus effects to the entire party, corresponding to the elemental types of the characters. If you have any 4 unique elements, you receive Protective Canopy, increasing resistance to all damage by 15%. Not bad for a general defense boost. Two or more pyro units grant fervent flames, lowering the time you're affected by cryo status and giving a flat 25% bonus attack across the board. Two or more hydro units grant soothing water, reducing the time affected by pyro for 40% and increasing healing from all sources by 30%. High voltage requires two electro units, 40% less hydro time and electro-based elemental reactions have a chance to generate extra energy charge. Shattering Ice takes two cryo units, it gives 40% less electro time and gives you 15% bonus crit rate against enemies that are frozen or affected by cryo. Double Anima leads to impetuous wins, 15% less stamina cost for everything, 10% bonus movement speed, and 5% cooldown reduction on your elemental skills. And finally, Enduring Rock is double geo, 15% more shield strength and bonus damage whenever you have a shield on you. As you can see, the bonuses from elemental resonance are by no means negligible, but usually you don't put as much emphasis on them as you would crafting a team to Designed to efficiently make use of elemental reactions. It's more icing on the cake than anything else. For those of you who are new to my channel, one of the aspects of Genshin I criticize a lot is how the game disproportionately favors characters who can capitalize on elemental reactions, like Vaporize, Freeze, Melt, and such over those who can't. Several of the characters I made for my Why No One Place series, like Klee and Kuching, fall into this department as well. Not just characters, but also playstyles. Quick Swap still remains the most practical approach to the game. Units with low cooldown elemental skills and ultimates are favored much more to exploit the amount of iframes you get during those animations, as well as basically infinite uptime. Because of this, I feel like adding extra elemental resonance bonuses will at the very least provide more options for characters, as some either have to stay out on the field longer than a quick swap team can afford, or their damage doesn't improve all that much from reactions. Understand that I'm fully aware the whole gameplay experience of Genshin is that of mix and matching elements, and by no means am I trying to dissuade players from going standard parties. However, it's important to create alternatives for characters so as not to run into a scenario where perfectly serviceable characters are pushed down in relevance purely because they just don't fit in with the status quo. And it can allow Mihoyo more creative freedom in the future, or so we hope. Even though I took extra care to make sure I didn't give overpowered benefits, just remember this is entirely experimental. The things I come up with are just to bring the idea to attention and give you guys something to think about. Additionally, I wanted to design these in a way that makes them embrace what they're known for. One of the issues with the original Reddit post was that they kinda tried to make every single elemental resonance give you more damage, which I disagree with. We don't want this game to be damage damage damage. Also, this is to account for possible future enemies. For example, right now most people are coasting through Spiral Abyss with Zhongli's shield, or in the overworld you use healing items. We may run into dungeons or mobs that do a lot of damage and force you to carry a dedicated healer around. So I'm going in with that approach. I repeat, this has not been balanced, it is theoretical. That said, once you're done going through my list, let me know in the comments down below what ideas you have in mind for each of the elements. First, let's talk about Pyro. Naturally, it's the element of power. Most if not all Pyro units have a primary focus on damage through multiple means. Bennett, Hu Tao, Shanling, Diluc, Kli, Yoimiya, damage, damage, damage. Their two-part bonus fittingly gives extra attack as well, so I wanted to double down on that. By having three Pyro units on your team, everyone gains a passive 15% bonus Pyro damage and overload explosions are 50% larger to emphasize their greater firepower. 
Going even further down that path, I have two different choices for full pyro teams. Either we continue with the free damage numbers by increasing everyone's normal, charged, and plunging damage by 15% against enemies afflicted by pyro, which is essentially all the time if you're going full pyro. Or we can go for a high risk high reward approach where you gain 50% more attack, but also take 25% increased damage from all sources. Now some of you might think that trade-off doesn't matter with all the different ways you can face tank enemies, but remember, you need an entire team of pyro units to achieve this, and with the current roster of pyro units, Bennett is really the only consistent way to keep your party alive, but he's not quite as good at protecting his team in the same way as Kokomi or Zhongli, so if you opt for pure pyro damage, you need fancy footwork. Next we have Geo. Being the element of substance, many of his characters are capable of summoning objects. Albedo gets his elevator, Geo Traveler makes a big rock, Zhongli with his pillars, Ningguang with her window thingamaduhiki, I honestly don't know what that's supposed to be. Anyways, with that in mind, the 3 part set bonus allows your party to deal double damage to enemy shields and steal a portion of it for yourself. At first it may seem like a useless thing, but more and more mobs are coming out with big shields like the Abyss Herald and Lecter or the Lawa Churls. It's still niche of course, but it's not as weak as it sounds. As to the 4 piece set effect, given that a lot of Geo characters can produce objects or structures, I wanted to give them a stacking Geo damage buff for every nearby Geo construct. Even though they aren't solid terrain, Itos and Ningguang's respective elemental skills are technically Geo constructs, so you can get up to 40% Geo damage bonus from this. I'm not sure if Goto's War Banner counts, but maybe for the sake of inclusion we can assume it does. I was trying to figure out how to bring Yunjin into this seeing as she doesn't summon anything, and I'm not quite sure but hopefully this will be fine anyway. The Geo damage boost is really big to account for the high maintenance cost. You have to keep 4 Geo constructs on the field simultaneously, and against bosses who can destroy them that might be tough. Another thing is that each character can only give one structure toward this count. So for example, Zhongli can't give 20% Geo damage on his own with 2 pillars. That would make him more stupid OP than he already is. Now Hydro is a very supportive element in Genshin. There's only 5 of them so far, but 4 of its units are built for utility, and a large amount of it is geared towards healing. This one was really tricky. Hydro is one of the best elements when it comes to purely reactions. Freeze and Vaporize are fantastic, and thus every Hydro unit will probably want to work on other elements. So this is what I have in mind. With 3 Hydro characters, whenever you trigger a Hydro based reaction, it heals the entire party for 15% max health on a 3 second cooldown. At the moment this kind of buff feels redundant what with Kokomi and Barbara, but assuming we're gonna get more Hydro damage dealers or non-healing supports in the future, this will still allow them to keep everyone healthy. To all the Kokomi mains out there, do not worry, I'm not trying to make your character useless. This is my thought for a full Hydro team. Increase the active member's Hydro damage based on a percentage of the highest percent healing bonus on your team for 4 seconds whenever healed on a 6 second cooldown. I didn't determine how much it should be, it definitely should not be 1 to 1 because I think Kokomi can get like 100% healing bonus or something ridiculous. The goal of this approach is to solidify Hydro's role as the healing slash support element. Okay, so Cryo was an element I had a hard time figuring out. In modern game conventions, anything related to ice was associated with slowing enemies down or their movements, but that doesn't really matter in Genshin since there aren't any bosses or enemies that force you to chase after them, not yet anyway. Regardless, I know that Cryo is very crit focused as the 2 piece set gives you a bonus crit and 4 piece Blizzard Strayer gives you crit as well. So with that in mind, I wanted a hybrid between utility and damage. At 3 pieces, triggering a cryo based reaction decreases enemy attack and attack speed by 20% for 10 seconds, while frozen also lasts 1 second longer. The frozen debuff might be kind of broken, I don't really use frozen comps that much aside from Ayaka Shincho, but I thought the attack and attack speed reduction wouldn't be good enough. The 4 piece set continues this hybrid by first making you immune to sheer cold damage, anywhere that applies, such as Dragon Spine or in the Blizzard domain or Signora's first stage. Second, you're also immune to any cryo related reactions and the cryo debuff itself. So you're not going to get slowed, nor can you be frozen or anything like that. And for damage, I decided to just tack on 20% bonus crit damage on cryo affected units to drive home the whole crit theme. Honestly, I couldn't really think of anything for this one that wouldn't be super crazy broken. Anima was also hard to really gauge. It's supposed to be the exploration utility element since the 2 piece bonus gave you lower stamina cost, faster abilities, and faster move speed. I know a lot of animal units perform well with elemental mastery seeing as how Kazuha and Sucrose revolve around it, but I didn't want to go too far into that route either since animal isn't a DPS element per se. What I tried to do instead was extend its niche utility. The 3 piece set will give you 3 benefits. First, whenever triggering a swirl reaction, you get extra energy charge for the party. Animal units have spammable cooldowns across the board that are all great for generating energy, and also work great in short bursts. Speaking of short bursts, you also get 5% more cooldown reduction on your elemental skill and 10% on your elemental burst, so 10% total in each. The 4 piece set will give you 20% increased damage with plunging attacks. I say plunging because animal units are known for propelling themselves upwards, namely Venti, Kazuha, and Xiao. 
and I believe they'll continue making Animo units the plunging element. But for the rest of the crew, Animo attacks give you 3% bonus to elemental damage up to a max of 15%, so it's more situational in terms of usage. The one issue I foresee happening is that apart from Xiao, Animo units suck by themselves. The whole point of the element is to swirl with other elements, which begs the question why would anyone want to run a full Animo party? I tried to think of something that didn't look like an obvious panda to Xiao, but then again, he's pretty much the only reason anyone would ever want to go full Animo anyway, so I tailored the specifics to him. Last but not least, we have Electro. I made an entire video talking about how it would fix Electro, so for this one, you guys already kind of know what I want. If Pyro is supposed to be the power and damage element, Electro should be the speed and breaker element. Now, there are several interpretations for how Electro could be differentiated from Pyro. Right now, there's a collective agreement on Electro being considered the battery element, focused around energy recharge and elemental bursts. We can go down that path, but I have two other options. Having three Electro units lets you break enemy defense by 15% for 10 seconds when triggering an Electro-based reaction, and each Electro reaction decreases the remaining cooldown of the active party member's elemental skill by 20%, thus allowing you to get it back much faster if you keep chaining Electro reactions. With a full Electro team, we can either have 30% of all elemental burst damage be converted to true damage, so it ignores defense and resistances, as well as generate elemental particles for each enemy hit or cause the party to gain up to 20% bonus attack speed whenever damaging an enemy affected by Electro, as a way of embodying the rushdown playstyle we see on a lot of Electro characters, Shogun, Kuching, and Razor. This can open up the door for main DPSs who need a lot of field time to be effective. Honestly, I think any approach can be viable, it just depends on personal preference. Of course, Dendro isn't out yet, so we can't hypothesize what a 3 or 4 set bonus would look like for them, as we're not sure what they're going to be, offense, defense, or utility. But those are the options I had planned out for the existing 6 resonances. What do you guys think? Do you like what I came up with, or do you think there could be better ones for certain elements? Feel free to share in the comments. I tried my best to think about what could have benefited the characters who wanted to go mono teams the most. Some on the crew Ta won't really care much about going for Pyro because she's better with Vaporize and Melt, while Klee will most likely enjoy the 3 and 4 piece set bonus considering she's able to attack from a safe distance to an extent. This is another topic that largely depends on how things will be going forward. When they release more and more characters, we'll slowly start to see where each element falls in terms of usage. I'm not sure if Mihoyo wants to have designated roles for every element, or if they want each one to have everything. Like, every element has a dedicated healer, every element has a tank, every element has crowd control, every element has a support or shielder, something like that. We'll see. For now, if you enjoyed the video, a rating would be much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Consider following me on Twitter, joining my Discord server, and checking out my previous discussion videos if you haven't yet. But until next time, thank you all so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.